So I heard you say one time about basketball, when you're playing pickup, you can learn a lot about somebody's character based on the way they play pickup. So you played hoops with LeBron, with President Obama, MJ. You know, what have you picked up about some of these guys while you've been around them? Uh, which one do you want to ask about? Let's Good. go with President Obama first. Uh, so start there. Uh, not surprisingly, unbelievably cerebral. <laughs> 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 really, really smart player. Um, what the public didn't see that we, because I do think you can't fake character. I right. think, again, you, you are who you are, and basketball is the ultimate, and, and uh, revealing that, um, unbelievably competitive. Mm. And he didn't play to, you know, get a workout, <laughs> he's playing to win. And there'd be times when we'd be down, the game would be tight. He's like, Arnie, let's go. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm trying not to get fired here. I, I got to make this shot. And um, that, that was, you know, that competitive nature. Again, nicest guy in the world, nice smile, but he plays to win. Mm. He plays to win. The other part was actually, you know, no ego. And there'd be games, honestly, where he wouldn't even take a shot and pass and play defense and move. And there are times that he would take big shots and make them. Never the point. Never, I scored this. He wanted to win. He wanted to be a good teammate. And um, again, going back, you know, 15, 20 years, um, we knew that. Mm -hmm. We knew that. The public didn't know that, right. but we knew that. You've known this for a long time. So how about LeBron? What was his game like when you guys played? LeBron, was, that was a little bit more social. That, so that was, <laughs> that was a little less uh, pressure. But um, again, it's, well, the, the commonality shares the basketball. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable passer. Teammate first. Teammate. Make everybody look good. Uh, move it. And... Um, that's, he could score, he can do, you know, he's going to end up one of the leading scorers in the history of the NBA. Um, I would argue he's a better teammate, a better passer than he is a scorer. Mm. And then how about Jordan? Jordan was an interesting story. I haven't told this one before. So when Jordan was coming back from uh, playing baseball, he was starting to think about a comeback. Um, I was working out with him and playing against him almost every day. And we never sort of talked about where he was going. We sort of got the feeling that he was aiming to come back. And when he first started, he was like really, really rusty. And we could actually compete and, you know, sort of go at it. And those were good matchups for a while. But that didn't last too long. <laughs> <laughs> he so got his groove back pretty quick. He sort of got his groove back. And I sort of worked out with him for a while. And then when the summer came, uh, NBA players, Paul Pierce, Antoine Walker, guys started coming back. And I sort of got subbed out. And those guys came in. Um, killer. Hmm. Killer. Talk trash. Talk real quiet, but talk the whole time. But um, he again, a little bit like it's funny. It's like the president, obviously a whole different level of skill right. set. Nicest guy in the world, nicest guy at the core, great smile, but an absolute killer. Mm. And, and Michael would try and beat you mentally, beat you psychologically before he'd try and beat you physically.